Nigerian army has reacted to the Christmas Eve raid of Akpafu community in Nkanum East Council of Enugu State, saying it arrested one Godwin Namdi in the area. It said Namdi is a notorious leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, and Eastern Security Network, ESN. In a statement issued by the Director Army Public Relations Brigadier General Oyema Nwachuku, he said the raid was part of the exercise golden done. Troops of 82 Division, Nigeria Army, and other security agencies, while conducting exercise golden done, arrested one Godwin Namdi, a notorious leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, mm -hmm. and Eastern Security Network in Nkano East local government area. He was arrested during joint clearance operations at a camp suspected to be the fortress of IPOB and ESN elements located at Akpafu Forest in Unkanum East Council of Enugu State on Saturday, December 25th, 2021. During the clearance operation, troop, troops engaged the dissidents in a fire fight which forced them to run away, leading to the arrest of their leader. Troops recovered various items including one AK-47 rifle, one, one magazine containing 21 rounds of 7.26 mm special award assets, amongst others. The Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Farouk Yaya, while commending the troops for the success since recorded thus far, charged them to comb and clear all suspected hideouts of criminal elements in their area of responsibility. So guys, I will not be surprised because every day we hear them arrest ESN, arrest IPO members, arrest this, they, it is a, their rhetoric. Now the chief of army staff can come out and tell you, tell us that, oh, all their hideouts, bring them out. If you are, if you are so bold and you are so powerful, why is it that uh, the hideout of uh, all these uh, bandits? Because um, this uh, professor Yusuf came out and said, you know the uh, whereabouts. But you're always talking about it, oh, to avoid uh, multiple casualties because of the people they have kidnapped, because of the people in their custody that they have, they've had hostage. You don't want to go there to go and do this. And, and these people are really suffering. This, so the victims are suffering in the hands of all these bandits or the, whatever you call them. You don't want to go there. Some of them have been there close to one year, six months, eight months, five months, seven months. Children, you are not doing anything about that. But all you are doing is we are, we are not hearing that uh, IPOB are kidnapping people, they are putting people in their custody. But you have the power, you have the you know, it's always easy for you to go and get their hideout. And again, come to think of it, come to think of it, these notorious uh, people you are talking about, and meanwhile, the rest people they ran away and you were able to capture the their leader, and you say. You saw one AK-47 rifle and one magazine containing 21 rounds of 7.6, whatever, whatever, and one asset. I was thinking that they are going to have more than that. It's been notorious, they should have more than that. Ah, well, this is what we hear. If really you can do this kind of a thing in the other parts of the country, because at least we will not be wasting money. The Sukano that you say you bought, you are not using it at the other end. So it is really surprising when we hear every now and then, oh, you arrested a IPOB, you arrested, you always arresting them, you know their hideout. But we have loads and loads of all these uh, criminals in the north. We don't seem to hear much. We don't see to, seem to hear much because those ones are having no power hand over you. I'm sure, I'm surprised that the chief of army staff is now commending his people. But I have never heard him, or maybe you have heard him. I've never heard him. This man speaking to his to these gallant uh, soldiers, how or commend them for good job jobs in the northern part of the country. And we are hearing that you guys know they are hired us, but you don't want to do anything. Congratulations to you people. Well, <laughs> just listen to yourself. Troops recovered various items, including one AK-47 rifle, one magazine containing 21 rounds of 7.62 mm special and one asset among others i don't understand a, a very notorious 
notorious uh, whatever like that you can imagine notorious uh, criminal like that according to what she said and uh, only once you could recover you recovered various items including one one this in an answers <laughs> had it been okay Yes, now, I think there's no uh, video how DSS kidnapped a barista which he wants to, you know, with yesterday. They would have tagged ta ta the IPOB. And it's true, they would have tagged if, if really something happened yesterday, something crazily happened yesterday, that maybe that guy died. They would say, oh, it is IPOB, oh, it is IPOB. How can you just go there and arrest somebody like that? Well, that is what we are talking about. When people, when this, uh, they tell you that a uh, I, I DSS are the ones behind this uh, unknown government. People say, I can, how possible. But that one alone yesterday, it shows you want to arrest somebody of that caliber. And you could not, you know, you can't go through the right channel and arrest him if at all nobody's above the law. Even ordinary person, you don't do that. And that's how you see all these EFCC. They go into people's house, remove window, remove doors, break everything. Say you want to, what kind of, who does that? It's unfortunate. And that is it. Boko Haram and ICC stand for Islamic State as the ideology for Nigeria and people of the eastern region of Nigeria stand for Biafra Nation is the ideology. Well, when the boys kill the army, don't talk. How many of the so-called Boko Haram have you people arrested? The sun must rise one day. The more you people hate Igbos and ESN, the, the more they become stronger. You call all these junks in the world, you can arrest the old Igbo, uh, Igbo people. They, Biafra, is still intact. Biafra is still intact. Hmm. We don't know where we are going in this country. We don't even know where we are going in this country. Abnormalities have become the normal thing. Those who are doing the right thing are being tagged terrorists, and the real terrorists are being pampered, organizing repentance for them oh they've repented oh this and this and that do you know how much these guys are wasting do you know how much government is wasting all the name of uh, security and what have you do you know how much they are wasting and yes nigerians are living in penury nigerians are living in abject poverty nothing is being done about it the money is being spent on insecurity and yet nothing to show for it. Nothing to hold on to. Yes, we are, we are, we, the, the whole thing is coming down gradually. The insecurity is coming down gradually. But at the end of the day, it's escalating. You begin to ask yourself. Bishop Kuka has come out to ask Buhari to explain to Nigerians when this insecurity will end. He's been asking him. They don't know anything. They, they, they are telling us that they didn't know the rot in the system before they came on board. And these are the people who have been in government for God knows when. They say they have experience. Now they say they know nothing again. So, guys, let's hear your own opinion on this. Thank you.